What is happening with Mooney right now? Obviously, the 20 series continues, but with tremendous change. And then there's a little brother coming along. Tell us first, what can we expect from the M20s of the future? Well, what you can expect uh, today is a, an aircraft that's been completely reimagined in the M20 series. We have added a, a second pilot's side door that is uh, formed out of a composite e-glass shell that we're still retaining the 4130 chromoly steel cage that you're familiar with. We're just adding that shell. That gives us a much better ingress, egress set of features as well as a quieter cabin and additional glass, a newly reimagined interior with new switches, new overhead PSU, a new seat design, a keypad. There's so many things to talk about. You're just going to have to come over and visit us at our booth. The aircraft will certify this quarter, Q3 2016, with the delivery starting immediately thereafter. What's a comfortably equipped ovation and a comfortably equipped Acclaim going to go for at this point? The Acclaim Ultra will be $769,000. That's a loaded aircraft and $679,000 for the Ovation Ultra. Now, you've indicated that the current modalities for building the Ovation Acclaim series have actually taken a lot of work out of the manufacturer. What have you saved? What are you getting out of that process? Great question. We have actually had in excess of 300 parts count reduction in the new Ultra series of aircraft, and that translates into several hundred hours of lower build time. So the quality is still there, but the new composite shell with some of the enhanced attachment features, less wiring in a few areas, and the ability for us to put the aircraft together prior to the shell being installed installed makes for that time savings. If you had to take anything from the new M20s over the old M20s at this point, what to you stands out? Well, it's just ease of ingress and egress. People have wanted that pilot side door forever. We've provided it. It's a larger door. I think I mentioned four inches larger, a lower sill. Uh, you know, the fact that we've had a long line at the aircraft for these first two days of Oshkosh is a testament that we've probably got this one just about right. What is the true strategy behind the M10? Well, I think the M10 is positioned primarily for the emerging Asian market. Now, as you know, there's 300 general aviation airports in China with an aggressive plan to add another 200 over the next three and a half years. So in addition to that move on the part of the PRC to open up the infrastructure, they've also relaxed some of their requirements on access to the sky. Recently, I think there's been a limit of 1,000 meters for GA activity. That's been increased to 3,000 meters now. So as these barriers to entry start to recede in the Chinese market, we believe that Mooney will be positioned there in order to really make a presence in that space. So the M10, it'll be an aircraft that'll have two flavors, essentially a training flavor and then a recreational version in the J, which will include retractable gear and autopilot. So we've kind of got both bases covered there. We can expand it down and expand it up. It's kind of a neat concept. It will certify in 2018. We haven't set a delivery schedule or pricing for that aircraft. Still a bit early, but it is hitting all of its design feature set in flight test. We're pretty excited about that hitting the mark too. Dirk, you've been a part of aviation, uh, piston, jet, various flavors, uh, and part of the Mooney uh, history for a significant period of time. How does this effort compare? Three things, enthusiasm, number one. Number two, intelligent passion for this product. And number three, engagement. Those are the three organizing principles that we're taking out as the marketing team to this marketplace. And I think it's a good rallying cry and indicative of the new spirit, the new attitude, the new energy, the new money, and uh, just our go forward plan uh, here for the next uh, foreseeable future. We're ready to go. After the hibernation of six years, if you put it in this context, a bear that hibernates, when he wakes up, he's hungry. Mooney has woken up. We're hungry. We're ready to get after it. Aero TV is brought to you by... With over 15,000 experimental and light sport aircraft already equipped, Dynon is the avionics leader for light aircraft. Through EAA's breakthrough STC for the Dynon EFIS D10A, Every GA pilot will soon have access to affordable avionics upgrades to their type certificated aircraft. For more information, go to www.dynon.aero/stc.